All right, Revit 2013, curtain systems, how to make them, what they are. Uh, curtain systems are basically walls of glass. They, If you uh, think of the UPMC building in Monroeville, how the entire front of it is basically one big uh, glass panel in segments, that is a curtain wall system. And you can create them very easily in Revit. Uh, here we're in Revit 2013, and the way you do it, since it's basically a wall, you start with the wall command. And as with anything, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. This isn't the only way, uh, but this is the way that I'm going to show you. You guys can kind of explore and do some different things uh, if you would like to do that. Uh, but this is the way that I'm going to show you how to do it. By default in Revit, I think the uh, first command or the first wall type that pops up is generic 8 inch. Uh, to do a curtain system, you're going to click on that. And if you scroll down, it's actually one of the uh, default wall types in Revit. Uh, I'm going to draw all three of these. What this is, it's basically a progression of the three um, of, of a curtain wall system. And curtain wall one basically just creates a pane of glass. The exterior glazing shows the glass segmented. I'm going to go to my 3D view in a second so you can see exactly what's happening here. And the storefront shows the completed curtain system with these metal structures that are called mullions. So a curtain system, as you know, is glass, and that's what you see here. And your next step would be to, once you have the gr uh, glass established, you uh, would segment this because you would not want your entire uh, front of your building to just be one single pane of glass that would not be very structurally sound. Um, so you have to segment it, and then you add these structural metal pieces that are called mullions. Um, so I'm actually just going to work with this one and show you how to create your own. You can um, use this one here, but there's no customization. It's just going to be a standard uh, size of uh, panes and everything here, so you can make ones your own and make it a little bit uh, nicer. So I'm just going to delete these two, and for some stupid reason it gives you a warning whenever you delete them. Uh, but we're just going to work with this one right here. So the, one of the first things you want to do is actually separate this into those smaller segments of glass. And the way you do that is by clicking on the curtain grid option up here in your ribbon. So I'm going to click on the curtain grid, and the way it works is you're, you can add horizontal and vertical pieces just by uh, moving your cursor to either the left or right side edge for the horizontal ones or the top or bottom edge for the vertical ones. And I'm just going to add a couple here. I'm going to add it. I'm going to try to make it a little bit um, maybe like what I would have in an actual store. So I may have a couple near the top and bottom and maybe have a couple like this. I'm, normally I would be much, uh, I pay a lot more attention to the way these things are spaced, um, but just for this tutorial I'm just going to kind of go through it a little bit more quickly. And I'm going to add actually one more horizontal piece here. And the reason for that is if this is the front of a building, the front of a business, I would want to have an entryway. I would want to have doors on the front here. Um, so what we can do is once you have this done, uh, there's a lot of things like doors and windows where you don't necessarily want to uh, follow this grid pattern that you've set up that you want for the majority of the wall. So you can actually remove portions of this uh, by selecting one of the separations here. And whenever you have that selected, you can go up to the Add Remove Segments button up here and that appears in your ribbon. And you can remove segments of that, uh, that separation. And i got to hit Escape because I want to do one from this one here as well. And click that again. And I'll separate just that. And that leaves me with one big open panel uh, that I can use for an entryway. Now, this is a little bit cumbersome. I really don't like this feature, this the, the way you have to do this. But to be able to put doors in here, obviously you want to work, use a curtain system door. So if I go to the door command, and I'll go back to my floor plan. First of all, just putting a regular single flush door in here won't work. You can see the little slash icon appears. It doesn't let me do that. Uh, and that's the only option I have. But you can load, just like anything else, you can go to doors and load. You have three curtain wall options. I'm just going to click on the curtain wall double glass. That's the one I want to use. And I'm going to hit open. And if I try to even place that, first of all, you don't even see it over here. Uh, and it still won't let me do anything. So it's a little bit goofy, but you have to do that first to be able to put it 
in your project. I'm going to go back to my 3D view and I would want to put that panel, I would want this area to represent those double glass doors. The way you do that is if I select this, if I use my tab key to cycle through my selections, you can actually select just that single pane of glass. And then you would come over to here and you would select the curtain wall double glass option. And you click OK. And now you can see that that single pane of glass has turned into my double doors. Um, now what you can do here is if I select this line, if I want to establish the height of my doors, I'm going to click and drag this dimension down here, uh, you can see this is 7 foot 2. Uh, just so you guys know, a standard height for commercial doors is going to be 7 foot. So I want to change that to be 7 foot. I'm going to click on that and just type in 7 feet mark, enter, and it modifies that line and brings it down. So now that's the correct height. So now this should be all set up. Um, the last option to get to, you can see this looks like the, uh, if I go to wall, this looks like the uh, exterior glazing option we created to start off with. But the last piece of the puzzle to make it look like that storefront is adding those uh, metal pieces, those mullions. To do that, if you go back to the architecture tab, you have the mullion option. You can add mullions one grid line at a time a single segment at a time or all grid lines at once which is pretty much what you want to do if you click on all grid lines at once um, as with most things you have options of different mullions to choose from they're pretty much all the same they just have different sizes and I'm going to add all of them at once now the only problem with this is that it adds a mullion down here at the bottom which you don't want and the other goofy thing is, I really this drives me nuts, is if I were to select this mullion here to delete it, which you can, for instance, you can select it here and delete it. Okay, and it deletes it no problem. But if you were to do it here where there is a door, it gives you this error message and you say, okay, well, delete type and, okay, replace panel. Uh, it delete. It gets rid of that uh, door that you just went through and created. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. You actually want to wait to add the mullions and remove the panels that you don't want before replacing that door, or excuse me, before replacing that panel with that door. So I'm just going to delete these and now I can select that uh, glass panel and come over here again and change it back to the curtain wall uh, double door option. And that's about it. As with anything else, there's a lot of customization you can do. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but that's the way I'm going to show you guys, and that's pretty much how you create a curtain system in Revit.